Depending on your application, choosing the right control mode can be vital for the performance of your motor. In this video, we'll highlight some of the most common motor control methods when using the PowerFlex series drives. By far, the most common control method is volts per hertz. Simply put, volts per hertz takes a speed reference and varies the voltage and frequency sent to the motor. This provides a constant volts to hertz ratio, allowing the drive to control the speed of the motor. While volts per hertz is used in many general applications, it does not work best in applications that require higher dynamic performance, motors that run at very low speeds, or applications that require torque control over frequency control. Similar to volts per hertz is the sensorless vector control method. This is the default method in all PowerFlex series drives. This method operates as a frequency control, but adds slip compensation to keep the actual motor speed closer to the desired speed. The addition of the torque current estimator block allows the drive to calculate an approximate torque current, thus creating better speed control under load. In addition to the voltage magnitude control seen in volts per hertz, sensorless vector adds the ability to control the voltage angle. This manages the amount of current going into the motor flux enabled by the torque current estimator, allowing for better low speed operation and improved torque control. Another common control method is flux vector control. This method retains the volts per hertz core and adds additional blocks around it to improve drive performance. A current resolver is used to identify the flux and torque producing currents in the motor and makes these values available to other blocks in the drive. Replacing the current limit block with a current regulator controls the motor more accurately. However, the output is still a frequency reference. While these are the most used methods, there are additional ones that may be better suited for your application. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please reach out to your local ES&E account manager or VFD specialist.